Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Big Mick. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is apologize for my lack of videos as of late. It's... Bah. <laughs> uh, basic apologies all around. I'm going to try and put out a lot more. I have a series I'm working on and should be pretty good for you guys. It's uh, similar to my old gaming gearing series, but a bit more in tune for uh, progression, so it can be used at any time as opposed to get this piece of gear. Anyway, the main purpose of this video is to talk about 4.3 Cataclysm that is coming out soon. Uh, Blizzard has discussed mostly what it's about and I'm here to relay some of that information. First things first, Deathwing is confirmed for 4.3. He will be in it. That means there is three tiers of rating in Cataclysm. There's T11, which is BOT, BWD, and Throne of the Four Winds. I never try and say that acronym like normal. <laughs> there is Firelands, and then there's Deathwing. That's it. Um, I'm reserving opinions for that till after I've got everything done. Second off, there's three, three five mans, similar to how they did it in Lich King, where there were the three five mans, there was the Pit of Sauron, there was the Forge of Souls, and then there was the Halls of Reflection. I don't know what they're going to be about, I can't tell you, but it's thought that one of them is going to be the War of the Ancients. Again, reserving opinions till the end. Next, there is a Transmorgifier. If you're wondering what this is, that's okay, a lot of people do. What it is, is it allows you to change your armor into a set that you already own. Meaning, no matter what your current raid gear is, you could go in looking like whatever you want, as long as you have the armor. Meaning, you can't go in in like Cursed Vision of Sargeras and Dual Warglaives if you don't have it. That, that's not going to work. But if you've got, say, Tier 11 Death Knight armor with Shadowmourne, and you're in tier 12 with Sulphuros, and you're like, eh, this looks stupid. I want to go back to tier 11 with Shadowmourne, even though that would be really ineffective. I want to go in like that. You can. You have that option now, which is something, along with player housing, has been kind of asked for, and they will never put out player housing, so it, it's not even worth asking anymore. Second off, they have the Void Bank system. This... I'm not too sure about, I believe it is just how its name describes. It allows you to store large amounts of armor and I think weapons, but this one is the one I'm kind of unclear on how it works and for that I apologize. Next they're doing the looking for raid system. This is something that they've been kinda tiptoeing around. See the looking for raid system has never been a system that they had really in. It was in the game and you can list yourself and you can look through the list but there was never really anybody in it. Nobody used it. But it's being used like the looking for group system. It's going to make pugging more viable. It's going to make small guilds doing it a lot more viable and it's going to mean if you do pug someone from your server and after three attempts on a really hard boss and they go this is a fail raid, I'm leaving. They can be replaced. It basically means people are far more replaceable. But, the flip side of this, there's probably going to be scrubs, and there's probably going to be a large amount of scrubs. People who say, I'm ready for this raid, but I don't know anything about this raid. But, I'm going to reserve my opinions for that till the end. Now, all of this, the, the 4.3 content, is on World of Warcraft. I believe it is on the forums. I can't remember. And it's also on Wowhead. It, all of the information there is there. Now, back to opinions. I'm irritated that they only do have three tiers of rating in Cataclysm. 4.1 was a disappointing patch. 4.2 I liked, but I was expecting more. And the original Cataclysm 
the the from 4.0.3 I believe it was when they first when they actually released Cataclysm to 4.1 was those were good times for Cata. And then when 4.1 came out, I was like, eh, this is kind of stupid. And when 4.2 came out, I was like, okay. And then they're just like, okay, beat Ragnaros, here's Deathwing. There's nothing else? You're not going to fit one more raid in there somewhere? I mean, but that's Blizzard. Now, there's a few broken promises they have here. Uh, for one, they did not do the multiple tiers of raiding per tier. Or they did not do the multiple raids per tier thing. That they promised they would. In the original T11, they had three raids you can go into. The people in Paragon were like, well, this kind of sucks because that means we really have to be on our toes and, and really try for world first. But in reality, most people don't care about world first. They just want to do the bosses. And the multiple dungeons gives it more variety. And single dungeons, as we've seen with things like TOC and Old War are they have less variety. Now, now T11 had three separate raids you can go into, and three separate raids to to change things up. You know, one of them you're in a molten, crazy volcano thing with dragons and monsters and shit. And the other one you're in this weird portal where everything's purple, and the other one you're way in the sky. And that was pretty interesting. And just with Firelands, it was you have the raid and you have the daily quest up. That is all you can do. Either way, you're in an area and there's fire everywhere. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just not even going to bring up 4.1. I hate 4.1. <laughs> but it's, it's a disappointment to me. But they've already they've leaked the next expansion I'm, I'm not sure what it might be an expansion it might be a little handheld game for the, the Game Boy I don't I don't know I, yeah, they could just be screwing with us and copyrighted the name just to make everybody look one way and then it's like oh yeah Mr. Pandora, Mr. Pandora, Mr. Pandora, BAM in my dream even though that wouldn't make any sense <laughs> and I don't know Anyway, the next thing, three five mans. It is presumed that these five mans are going to drop somewhere between T11 item level and Firelands item level. So probably 370, give or take. It is assumed that they're going to drop that simply because of the fact that, well, it's what they do with the Zandalaris. The Zandalaris drop 353. And it's not quite T11. It's like T11 light. These are going to drop T12 light. You know, it's not quite there, but it's still really good. And a lot of people are going to want it. Now, it's assumed that they're going to be hard. It's assumed that they're going to be interesting. But it's Blizzard. So they could be walk in, hit boss five times, looping out. <laughs> you never know. But it's, it's, at least, it's not a raid, and I would like to have seen another raid, but it doesn't make sense to have Deathwing with another raid. Now, it is yet to be seen if they're going to put in an uber-hard boss. It, it kind of wouldn't make sense, because you spend this entire expansion building up to Deathwing, and then it's like, oh, by the way, you just killed Deathwing, who you thought was going to be the hardest enemy. Here's an extra boss that is even harder even though you just killed a corrupted dragon aspect and it's like how do you pull that off what are you gonna throw at us and there, there's a few ideas some people would say like Lady Ashara but they've already said they're not bringing her in they could throw an old god in but that wouldn't make too much sense they're still saving them because the old gods are responsible for everything <laughs> And they're not just going to go, oh, by the way, you just killed Deathwing. Here's another major lore character who probably doesn't fit, but you're going to fight him and kill him anyway. Because why not? <laughs> and, you know, so we don't know what they're going to do with that. And the five mans are probably going to help people who 
aren't quite ready, get ready. And they're, they're just going to be that last little push in terms of gear to get you ready for death mode. Now, moving on to the Transmorgifier. I love the idea. I see no problem with it. No problem at all. You know, it, it could be, this is what my gear is, and the way my gear is now, I look like somebody just gutted a clown and poured it on my character. It, it looks ridiculous. And let's say I have a previous gear set, which looks amazing. It's like, I want to fight like that. You know, that's how I want to look going in the battle. It's really, it's, it's all about aesthetics. And a lot of people are like, like, I don't care. <laughs> a lot of people are like, eh, yeah, I'd pay, I'd pay gold for that. And it's, it's, why not have it in the game? It doesn't, it doesn't affect any balance issues. It doesn't affect this, that, or the other thing. It's just, you look cool when you fight the boss. And I don't think anybody can complain about that. Uh, void storage, I don't know. If it's another bank thing, thank God. I don't have enough bank slots as it is. And it would be, it would be nice to have that in. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. Like I said, I dropped the ball on that one. My apologies. <laughs> um, no, it's, it, the whole thing is is 4.3 is going to be kind of a an interesting ordeal with the guild with the uh, raid finder because like I said it's going to enable the smaller guilds. Um, I'm with a friend of mine's guild. We've got like 55 people. I mean 55 tunes, not 55 accounts. We we're not nearly that big. We have 16 accounts or something, and we've got five or six people who are raid ready but we don't have enough to actually do raids now the option to pull from a, a player base and, and draw in people for raids is going to be really really nice for guilds like me I mean we, we sort of have a coalition thing between three different guilds it's weird but I don't care because we're with people we all know it, it's it brings to mind something else I wish Blizzard would put in. Uh, guild coalitions, where if you you can draw people in from each guild, as long as it's up to a certain ratio, it still counts as a guild run. Like, if it's from two guilds, if it's 50-50, it's a guild run for both. Or, it's like each of the three guilds roughly puts in a third within a little margin. It's like, it still counts as a guild run. So, one guild isn't going to be carried, but it allows them all to work together and still get good credit. That would be nice. Something tells me they're not going to do it. It's a shame. I know it's a shame. It's Blizzard. And But the looking for raid thing is really nice. It helps the smaller guilds. It helps individual people who are raid ready. But don't have a means to do it. And don't feel like adding a trade. Because back in the day I used to do that all the time <laughs> I pugged an LK one, one my first Kingslayer was from a pug that I'd formed and we did a full clear and I did a little dance <laughs> and it, it's helpful for those who, who either have a guild who's not ready or just don't feel like going to trade chat you know they just use the looking for guild thing and I like the idea and I hope it is nice and refined. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching my video. My apologies for not putting one out sooner. It's been a month. I am sorry. I'm going to be putting them out a lot more. i got a new series I'm working on. I know I've been kind of iffy on the series. The Fireland series was a bust. The uh, Gearing Guide, this is me turning around and, and bringing the Gearing Guide to a better purpose and you guys will see it and I hope you will like it. Anyway, until next time ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Big Mac and I wish you all good content.